So in this video, we will talk about the interface of Formware 3D. The interface is centered around the build platform of your 3D printer. The select boxes in the top right show you the current machine and the machine print profile. The print profile determines the layer thickness. Below that you can see the volume of parts in your build platform, the amount of layers and an estimate for the print time. Under the tab support profile you can see the current profile used for supporting. On the top of the program there is the main menu bar and there's a toolbar with lots of commands. With the file menu you basically import your part. Let's import two parts. Selecting a part shows you the object manipulator. With this you can easily move your part around or you can rotate it. The edit menu contains all the things you would like to do like copying, paste, deleting or selecting. But you would usually use shortcuts for this like Ctrl C or Ctrl V. When you right click a part, you see an additional menu that shows you some options to quickly move the part. By default, when there is no command loaded here, clicking a part will show the options box with all the details belonging to the part. When there is a command loaded, like for example the scale command, this will not happen. You can still access the object's properties by right clicking and click show part details. Your parts list is on the right. This list contains all parts in your build platform. Each part can contain multiple supports, infill, there is currently none, drainage holes or drainage plugs. If you would like to work on one part specifically, you can choose to focus on the part. You do that by clicking this small magnifying glass and this will basically hide all the other parts. When you click it again, you will go out of focus mode and all parts will show up again. When you are done preparing your print job with editing your mesh, placing supports, you go to the slice menu and you click start slicing to sl start slicing your print job. Thank you for watching.